this video topic is very important. I need everybody, men and women, children of the Most High, to really listen up. So look, the title today is The People From Your Own Town Will Be The Ones Who Try To Kill You. Yup, that's the title for this video. So let's talk about something. All right, listen. As a chosen one, right? When you are chosen by the Most High God, when you are destined for greatness in this life, it's never the people who you think, okay? The people that wanna kill you the most is the people from your own town. That's how it always has been. Let me make one part. Anyways, I'm back. I had to make a quick edit right there. But that's how it's always been. It's never the people from different areas or cities who try to kill you like that, okay? It's the motherfuckers you may have met, grew up with, chilled with, fell off with. It be the motherfuckers from your own city or hometown that try to kill you. This is the facts. Go do your research. Go look at all the artists and celebrities who were chosen to make it out. And they became such a target in their area. Like Mark for Death, right? This is the truth, whoa. So this shit is very important. Y'all need to listen up. It's never people from a different area or state that try to kill you, okay? It's people from your own city, own state that be trying to kill you off, whoa. Because they jealous of you Because you chosen That light that you're shining It's bothering people And you gotta understand When you are chosen right You put fear in these people Do you know what happens When you put fear in someone They get desperate A fearful motherfucker Would take your life Because he's so scared of you He's so scared of you whoa. Real shit A fearful motherfucker out of pure fear, pure fear will take your life because of who you are becoming, because of what you are capable of on every level, mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm telling you this shit is real out here. As a chosen one, when you become successful, right? Depending on how much financial income you are getting, be aware of where you are at in your life. Okay, because listen, as a chosen one, right? People already don't like you because you chosen by the most high God. People don't like you because you're chosen despite everything. Motherfuckers know that me and you is chosen, whoa. And listen, these motherfuckers you may have met in your city hometown, whether y'all fell off, you drifted away because they was bullshitting, whatever the excuse was, these will be the same motherfuckers who try to kill you. This is the facts. Every celebrity that made it out their hood or hometown, everybody wished death on them. Because they was jealous. I'm telling you, only a select few make it out in this life. Let me tell you what happens in this life, right? It's three things that's going to happen to you. You either going to stay stagnant, right? You either going to die or go to jail. Or you're going to be successful. And when I say stay stagnant, that means you're going to be a bum. I remember looking at an interview and young boy said it. Not even an interview, he was on live. And he was like, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you in this life. You're going to be a bum, you're going to die, or you're going to go to jail. This is the facts. So everybody is not going to make it out, bro. Everybody is not going to make it out. So when they see an individual who actually is and can make it out guess what they all do they all gang up and these motherfuckers don't even really rock with each other they don't really rock with each other it's just kind of like if you can't beat them join them type shit you feel me let's gang up on one individual because we scared shitless let's gang up on one individual even though we all don't like each other we all ain't never gonna die for each other we ain't even cold like that but fuck it we all hate this one individual so much that we'll just tag team and gang up on him because he's that powerful. That's how I be, well. I remember I was watching Dragon Ball GT, right? 
I believe it was GT. And I think this nigga was fighting Omega Shenron in the final battle, right? All the villains in hell was looking at him fight Omega Shenron Goku. That's how much these evil fuck niggas hated Omega Shenron. My bad. That's how much all these evil motherfuckers hated Goku. Because Goku was chosen. He beat everybody ass, right? He was just that nigga, you feel me? And all these villains that beat his ass and they didn't get to kill him, they was all rooting for Omega Shenron and all these people don't even really like each other in hell. They just down there in hell because that's where they go when you be bad in Dragon Ball Z. So that shit interesting, man. The people from your own town will be the ones who try to kill you, well. This is the facts. This is the damn facts. So when you're on your way to becoming successful, the level of hate and jealousy people are gonna have to you is only going to get amped up. It's only going to get amped up. Real shit. So my advice to you, if you are living in a city filled with gossiper, haters, jealous motherfuckers, envious motherfuckers, cowardice motherfuckers, fake motherfuckers, you stay dolo, stay out the fucking way, trust no one. And when you get financially stable, move out of your area you are in, move. Relocate. Relocate. It's not out of fear. Nobody's scared of nobody. Relocate and refresh and restart. Not out of fear, you dumbass. You gotta understand, this is end times. I don't want nobody to move in fear. You can stay in your area, but at the end of, at the, end of the day, it's kind of like you never see celebrities or people who are successful stay in the area for a various amount of reasons. They come back though, don't they? That's what you have to do. You gotta follow the damn rules. You gotta follow your damn script. Come on, man. It's only gonna get worse when you become more successful. The more hate, the more jealousy. Now, I'm not telling you to operate in fear. I'm just telling you shit to help you in the long run, whoa. Because shit, once you hit a certain level of success, you just cannot stay in the same city or area no more because it's too much jealousy and hatred and envy people. Envious people, you can't trust no one when you get to a certain plateau. Shit, you can't even trust no one right now. You ain't even got it like that, motherfucker. So what that means? When you get to where you need to be financially and you're able to fully relocate without having to be low on money or anything, then yeah, you get somewhere in a new area, a new city or some shit. Right, refresh. Nobody's running away from their hometown. We always coming back. <laughs> we always coming back You feel me? Because this is where we started Correct But I'm just telling you the damn truth That's what you have to do When you're on the path to becoming successful And when you become successful You gotta move out of your area You have to move That's the number one thing you have to do As a person who's on the path to becoming successful Alright, chosen ones The reason you're going through so much Is because you're going to be successful I'm talking about really successful Whether it be making music, YouTube um, you may be a damn NBA player, NFL player. Listen, your city may love you, but at the same time, your city will hate you. And I believe, I don't believe, I know that your city will hate you more than they love you. Because that's, how, that's just how it is. People are crabs in the buckets, well. We are living in a crab in the bucket society. Everybody's crab as fuck. Everybody's slimy snakes. Everybody devils, well. So you have to move out your area. Not out of fear, you always gonna come back, whoa. What the fuck? Everything here is your land. Melanated person watching this video, this is your house. So ain't no motherfucker who look just like me gonna make us run. You get what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, you feel me? I'm not saying that, I'm just telling you the truth. That's what you have to do. You have to relocate and move to another city once you get to where you need to be, financially. Once you're able to fully move and maneuver good, you get your ass up on out of here. Wherever area you are from, because I'm telling you, as you start to better yourself, progress, and be successful, obviously your enemies don't want to see it happen before, it, you feel me? They want to try to stop you while you vulnerable at a low point financially. That's how it works. Fuck it. We don't want him to get big and then he just do what we do. You feel me? So listen, you, this shit is real, boy. The motherfuckers who try to kill you will be the ones from your own town, your own city. This is the facts. I'm putting awareness to this shit because it's like... No matter how you slice it or dice it, the moment you become really successful and you become well known in your area, I'm telling you, cuz the hatred is gonna get amped up because it's just the thought of knowing, like, damn, bruh, 
we was just chilling with this nigga. And now we snaked and faked him and we'll never come back into his life ever again. He'll never let us come back into his life. Ever. I'm talking about ever. So they just have to sit there and look at you after all the horrible shit that has taken place out of jealousy before you even became successful. Now they got to sit and look at you at the mistakes they made because they was jealous the whole time. They was snake. They was fake ass friends. So now they got to look at you, be great and shine without their ass. And you know how that make a person feel like, wow, I can't believe I let jealousy and hate get the best of me. Like shit like that. So they going to feel it anyway. So do that mean operating fear? Hell no. We're not operating in fear, nigga. Hell no. Fuck fear, nobody's scared of nobody. Nigga, if you chosen, you know you ain't scared of shit, boy. You chosen by the most high. You a light warrior, ho. I, I meant to say, whoa. You feel me? You gotta understand, this shit is real, whoa. Why do you think people are gang stalking you? Because you finna be successful. Everything is spiritual, whoa. Everything is not just flesh, bro. It's all spiritual, fam. Everything is spiritual. The reason people are targeting you, um, society is isolating you. You're getting gang stalked. You're getting internet mobbed. You're getting negative energy sent your way. It's because where you're headed is frightening. And who you are actually is scaring the shit out of people. People fear us. Well, you have no idea how people really fear us. And a motherfucker who fear you will kill you because he's scared. Kind of like a fuck nigga on the streets, right? He know you'll kill his ass with your bare hands. He might pull out a gun. Right, you see this shit all the time A fearful motherfucker A motherfucker who walk around in fear Carry a gun all day, every day Over a street fight Right, so this shit real People will, people who fear you Will try to, cure, try to kill you They fear your success They fear who you are They fear you on every level They fear you on a spiritual level I told you it's called spiritual intimidation Spiritual intimidation So basically, my message is just to say, like, I ain't gonna lie, be aware, you feel me? Because everybody in your city or hometown is not gonna love you when you become successful. This is the facts. As much as where you from, you gonna always get love from where you from, but trust and believe, you gonna get more hatred and envy and jealousy where you from. You gonna get more hate than love, I'm telling you. So shit, it's a dangerous game. It's a dirty game. Young boy told y'all, it's a dirty game. This shit's so slimy, it'll never change. He told y'all. Young boy told y'all, it's a dirty game out here, whoa. And you cannot be maneuvering dumb during these times, whoa. You got a purpose. You got somewhere to be. You got to be great. You came here to be great. The ancestors chose you. You feel me? So this is why everything is happening to you. You ain't going through everything you going through because you regular. You not regular. You never was regular, whoa. You never was a regular ass motherfucker, man. So this shit is real out here, boy. So anyways, y'all stay safe out here, man. Stack your bread up. Moment you become successful, moment that bread start flowing in consistently, move to a new location. Just don't stay in the same spot for too long. And I'm not saying this out of fear. I'm telling you how you're supposed to do it if you want to be maneuvering correctly. I'm telling you. The people who try to kill you the most will be the motherfuckers from your own city or hometown. And that's facts. Why you think, why you think, look, a helicopter right now is gang stalking us, cuz, on the most high. Let me see if I can catch this thing. On the most high. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if y'all seen that shit. But yeah. This is real life, cuz. Every celebrity who grew up in the hood and made it out, and they didn't stay in the hood too long, whoa. Well, it got too hot. <laughs> but they come back, though, cuz what the fuck? I'm from here. Nobody gonna scare us from coming back from my hometown, man. The city love us, right? But the city also hate us. You feel me? So look. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Y'all stay tuned for more content. And yeah, thank you, Lamarck. I'm out, gang.